What's going on YouTube family? Tonight I want to do an unboxing video for you guys. Um, this is my Tackle Warehouse Black Friday order. It's not massive, but it's my start into swim bait fishing. Now, keep in mind that my swim bait experience is very, very limited. I have, I think, three or four swim baits, a Mega Bass Mag Draft, six inch size. I have a six sense Flow Glide, and then I have uh, the Boom Boom Optimum swim bait. So I don't have a huge swim bait selection. James from Swim Bait Chronicles just did a great review on the top three best um, starting swim baits if you're looking to get into the swim bait game so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a link in one of these corners that'll pop out take you over to james videos so go over and check him out he's very knowledgeable about the swim bait stuff um, and has a lot of insight and experience that he can offer uh, in his swim bait videos so i don't have a lot of experience with these bigger baits i don't have experience with huddlestons uh, a lot of these glide baits i have never thrown before so what I wanted to do is take my Black Friday order and really tailor it towards getting into the swim bait game just a little bit. And then in 2017, I'm going to break these baits out and really start to learn and play around with some of these baits and, and figure out how and when to throw them. So enough of me rambling. Let's get into my order. Oh, okay. So let's take a look at some of these baits that I bought. I bought four total swim baits. Um, and then a bottle of Mendit glue. Now, when you're throwing a lot of the soft plastic swim baits, like the um, Huddlestons or even like the Bass Magnet Lure Shifter Sheds, Mendit glue um, can come in really handy. What it allows you to do is put baits back together. Um, it allows you to modify baits and make those baits last a lot longer when they get bit, when they start to fall apart. You can uh, repair the appendages. This is a great tool to have in your boat. All this is is a bottle of Mendit glue. It just comes in like a nail polish bottle with a nail polish applicator for you to put on your baits. I don't have a bottle of this yet so I figured it was a pretty good thing or a necessary thing for me to buy especially as I'm getting into these bigger swim baits um, so that way if, if a, my Huddleston rips I can repair it. Speaking of buying a Huddleston, uh, you guys had to figure that was going to be on my list. This here is a Huddleston 68 Special. It's a six inch bait with an eight inch, with the tail from the eight inch Huddleston. And what that allows it to do is have a really good action, um, even when it's moved really slowly. A lot of the modifications that guys do with their six inch huds is put an eight inch tail on it. So I'm gonna take this out of the package for you guys. One of the main forage types around here are perch, um, which is why I went for this yellow perch color and it actually looks great. And I bought the Rate of Fall 5. Um, I, I looked into a lot of forums and reached out to some people that I know have used swim baits before. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out of this bag. i got to rip it. But everyone says if you're fishing pretty much anything 20 foot or less, go off the Rate of Fall 5. It'll help you keep it from getting hung up on the bottom. Come over snags a little bit better and you'll just be a lot better off with the ROF 5 instead of the ROF 12. Now, um, <clears throat> these Huddlestons, you keep hearing me talk about ROF and rate of fall, they come in two rates of fall. You have the ROF 5, which falls five feet for every 10 seconds, or you have the ROF 12, which falls 12 feet for every 10 seconds. So I went with the lighter one, uh, the ROF 5, and what you can see is it has a big, huge paddle tail on there. Well, it's actually a vortex tail. Um, when I say vortex tail, you can look at the, the body shape. It's kind of like an oval almost. And what that does is just give it a nice side-to-side -side wobble in the water. This is the yellow perch color. It comes with that big old jig hook on there. So you're going to want to throw this on a little bit heavier action rod. Right now I have a 7.9 uh, extra heavy rod that I'm going to be throwing this on. It's actually a custom build. Um, but it should work perfect for this. It's got a lot of a lot of backbone. Should be great for driving this hook home with this big old Huddleston. I'm excited to throw this bait. I think this bait's going to get chomped by some big old smallmouth. It looks just like the perch that we have up here. Um, and I'm excited to throw it. I almost bought an 8-inch. I, I was really, really close to buying an 8-inch and an ROF 5 uh, in the Phantom perch color. But I ended up just getting this one. Deciding to throw throw this and try it out and get used to this before I go to that bigger bait. Another thing about these baits is that they're great for throwing when those fish are you know really tight to the bottom. One thing that I hear a lot of guys talk about is cast this bait out there and be patient. Let it sink all the way to the bottom and just really slowly turn the handle. 
Um, everything that I've read is that that's the best way to fish this bait. And I can't describe to you guys enough how much and how real that looks. This looks almost exactly like the perch that we have out here on Lake Huron and in our Great Lakes. So I'm really excited to throw this bait. Um, it should be an awesome, awesome smallmouth catcher. You guys had to know I was going to get a River to Sea S waiver. This is a 168 size, so it's not the biggest one, but everyone that I've talked to has said start with the 168, you can always go bigger. And by the time you start getting bites on the 168, you'll be ready to move to the 200 anyways. Again, I got this in the yellow perch color. And this bait is relatively inexpensive. For, for one of these glide baits, um, the S waiver is highly recommended because not only is it durable, not only does it catch fish, but it's relatively inexpensive. I think this bait here was only, yeah, it was $15.19, so $15.19 um, for the Black Friday sale. So I think it retails at $18.99, but that's a great color. It's like a metallic yellow perch color. Again, it looks really, really good. It's a great color. You have your orangish red on the throat and on the nose, and then um, this greenish metallic yellow or gold color on the body. I'm excited to throw this. I've also looked into a couple mods on this bait, a couple modifications. A lot of guys, what they do, they'll take a file and they'll file down these edges so that way this tail will open up and, and kick a little bit wider. So I might do that this winter. But essentially, I'm just going to have to stare at all these baits this year and basically um, dream about the fish that I'm going to catch on this. It's almost a 7 inch bait. It's a 6 and 3 quarter inch bait. Um, so it's bigger than any of the other swim baits that I currently have. You know, one of the intimidating things for people that get it, that are getting into swim baits is how big these baits are. You got to think, that's not even a keeper perch. If I caught a perch that big, he would go right back into the lake. So that's what I have to keep in mind when I'm throwing these big baits is that I wouldn't keep this perch if I caught him because he's not big enough. River to see S waivers bait number two. Now these next two glide baits, the next two baits that I bought are significantly larger. Well, they say they're seven inches long, but the packaging makes them look huge. Um, and they're baits that were on additional sale for the Black Friday sale, so I figured I had to try them out, had to buy them. I guess they're not that big. The two baits that I bought are the dual hardcore glide baits. Um, I've heard a lot of good things. They were on a really good sale, so I figured I'd pick a couple up. Instead of going with like a Mega Bass or something, I wanted to try some of these less expensive glide baits before I decide to drop all that money on like a Mega Bass Ice Slide or a uh, Gancraft or anything. I wanted to try these a little bit less expensive baits. So let me open these baits up and show them to you. And this bait I'm excited about. I think this bait. Should catch a lot of big fish. This is very similar to the color that um, Oliver was throwing when he was up here and caught a couple fish on an ice on an ice slide. So this color here is called Ghost Pearl Chartreuse Back, um, and as you can see, it has that chartreuse back, has the orange underbody, and then it's basically translucent. It's opaque with a pearlish accent to it. It's a, it's a pretty good color. Um, it looks really good, but. It's a little bit bigger than that S waiver. This is a seven inch bait. They call this a six and three quarter inch bait, but you're looking at a much bigger bait, much bigger body. It's a lot wider um, than the S waiver. And it's just got a bigger profile. One thing I noticed is that these edges here, they almost inhibit the side to side motion. Now, obviously I'm not gonna do any modifications on this bait because I don't know what it would do to the action, but that's just one thing I notice out of the box. It doesn't, it doesn't line up just as perfect as this S waiver, but it does have a really wide tail wobble. So, so this here is the Dual 180 SS. It's 180 millimeters. Uh, it's a super slow sinking, so they really say to fish it down to about five feet. So one thing that everyone rants and raves about these dual baits is how good of premium components they use. And straight out of the box, these hooks are sharp. These split rings look heavy duty. I mean, obviously I'm not going to know until either A, I put a fish in the boat or B, something goes wrong, but these components look super, super promising. Heavy duty, 
ultra premium components. These hooks are very sharp, just all around well built, and it does come with an extra tail. This tail slides out, as you can see right here. This tail has a slot here where it will slide out, and they send you an extra tail with it. So it comes in the box with an extra tail. So this is the first dual hardcore 180 SS bait. The other one I got is just slightly different. I'm not gonna take this one all the way out of the box for you. This one is a metallic ghost IU. And as you can tell, it's a little bit more metallic, metallic-y, I guess you would call it, than the ghost chartreuse, but it still has a little bit of translucency. Um, it's got a greenish, brownish back, which would be really good for imitating some of those big shiners but it's just an all-around great color that I think is going to catch some big old fish next season. I'm excited to expand on my knowledge or, you know, build a knowledge base in the swim bait world. It's obviously going to be a big learning curve for me, but I'm really excited to get out, throw some new baits, and try to make these fish bite some, I guess you would call them uncon unconventional tactics. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go down and give it a thumbs up. Go check out James' video if you want to learn more about you know, some basic swim baits if you want to start getting into the swim bait game. If you haven't yet, click subscribe down below or there should be a little button that looks like my face pop out right here for you. So I appreciate you guys watching as always and take care. Tight lines. God bless.